Let's we go. got this to the moon, baby. Here we go. All right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just going to like pop my arms a few times like that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the judging for the first contact Proco challenge. My name is Steven Zapata. I've been freelance concept artist for a while now. I'm currently an instructor at Art Center College of Design as well. And I have a weird YouTube channel. And if you want to check that out, the links will be down in the description. It's such a weird channel. I love it, though. It's great. Hello, my name is Ahmed al -Douri. I as well I went to Art Center and went back to teach there after working as a concept artist on movies and games. And now I'm doing the YouTube thing for uh, tutorials, podcasts and more. Uh, definitely follow me on Instagram. Instagram and uh, YouTube and the links should be down below. Let's do it. All you need to know is that both Med and I are, well, Med's fascinated by aliens and I'm terrified by the idea of aliens and yeah. that's why we decided to do this. So should we do it, man? Let's by turns be fascinated and terrified. Absolutely. All right. First contact. Let's go. All right. This is Joe Gart. Okay. I think this is sequential. Let me just make sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It makes more sense that that's first. Because it's the Instagram thing where you slide over. Yeah, okay. one of those carousels, yeah. Because this alone is just, mm -hmm. okay, but it's saying hi. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would imagine it's going like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? I don't know. It's not like I was pretty good. knew what that would sound like. Scale. All right, so this is first contact. Um, not what I would imagine. It's definitely first it's... contact of a sort. Let's go next. Nice. I do love pencil drawings and uh, I have to say, I feel like the exposure range on that alien head is actually very nice. I like that. I okay. Like, yeah. Okay. It's got nice compressed values in that light area yeah. and then the shadows don't go too dark yeah. on that alien head. I think that's pretty nice. Sweet. Definitely gets confined to the Terminator or the core shadow area, which is nice mm -hmm. in terms of the darks. Yeah. Story-wise, it looks rather disturbing, which is good. You know, this may be a first contact moment where we're being strangled by this Goro forearmed thing, dear lord. I would imagine that they were kind of like hugging, like they were having a good time. Oh, like, and hey. Because yeah, they're so, they're in such a particular position. Yes. And then, uh, and then the alien turned on the human and wow. said, yeah, I lured you in with cuddles, but it turns out <laughs> you're going to get strangled. Lured in with cuddles mm -hmm. and yet. Nice. Bit of a... Uh... Kubrick vibes here in terms of like composition and color. Yeah, overall mood is definitely disturbing, yeah. spooky. It looks like that classic horror movie play where that character looks in the mirror and then sees something terrifying behind it. And in this case, it looks like a businessman <laughs> alien. I want to know why that main character is brushing his teeth in a public bathroom that has graffiti all over it. Okay, this is more my speed. Some, some uh, music. Alien jamming out to... Uh guitar jams but look at the cat nice Lord. it's like the the cat that's painted in the renaissance paintings you know what i'm talking oh, about oh yeah 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 i like how dim the lamp light is right didn't go for like super brightness so it yeah. feels like an actual like weak light source that's really cool the alien is suitably terrifying and god this is a more optimistic version of what i always imagined if an alien visited me while i was sleeping but and okay then, um, so i'm gonna put that in my back pocket if uh yeah. if a if an alien ever does approach me while i'm sleeping i have a, there's a guitar right behind you yeah i don't play well so hopefully they like um mm. cacophonous music <laughs> maybe that's what makes them dance and feel good getting some uh oh. war of the worlds vibes here this yeah. guy is like you know i'm just gonna walk away very casually <laughs> looks like his car broke down yes back there ah oh, dude but the tangent Oh, the tangent between the... The hood of the car and the road, how it oh, kind of yeah. lines up. I was looking at the tangent between the ship and the moon, but... um the great colors. Yeah, I was about to say the moonlight feels very convincing and the warm effects on the spaceships are, of course, yes. uh, good contrast against that. Um, <gasps> There's some, where is it? Something truly upsetting about that. Is it up against a wall and it's on like in the corner between where the wall and the ground meets yeah i think so that's my cyclops dog with a jetpack i think someone's hunting this beast oh lasers are being pointed at it yeah lasers are being pointed at it someone has damaged one of its horns and it's been backed into a corner okay it looks like it's going to need to defend itself really great attempt like the detail of the uh muscle striations coming through suitably gross that's for yes sure. nice yeah yeah, yeah. I like the blood on the ground too. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Yeah. So we got the uh, android from Wally -E coming down. Okay. They must be the drones that these guys are controlling. All right. So terrifying. Like if I was out at night and that's right around the tree 
corner. Mm. Yeah, I would not be okay with that. Yeah. But let's point out that it looks like they invaded a camping trip. Oh, yes. Okay. Because there's okay. a fire that's been put out. And then I think that blue shape is a tent behind the main nail. I was about to ask, is that a, is that a cape coming from the, from the alien? Yeah, anything's that. possible with strange alien biologies, right? Yeah. Okay, now we're talking some emotions here. That's pretty sweet. Would you say Lovecraftian? I would say so. Yeah, yeah. it has a vague, like, overwhelmingly cosmic feeling just from the sheer scale yes. of the aliens. I like it. Yeah. I wonder if they're... I could see a couple interpretations. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you think, Med. Do you think that they're, like, cloud beings? Do you think they're obscured by the clouds? My first impression is that, yeah, they're not cloud beings, but that they're just very large and, you know, they're kind of coming through the clouds. And I and I always like when you don't show the whole creature. Mm -hmm. It's more of a, an implication. And, you know, the classic alien movies did that ruined later on, but uh, by showing everything in broad, bright light. <laughs> but this is cool. It has that cosmic horror feel. Yeah. And uh, it's so, like, severe that the black and white kind of works. You know, it doesn't feel like it needs, yes. this idea would need too much color. And uh, I interpret it as like those aliens are like calling down that fireball or that piece of lightning or starting oh, that yeah, fire yeah. or something like that. Well, so that guy screwed. I'm going <laughs> to that guy's not going to get Great it. perspective, you know? Nice. Mm -hmm. Ah. Hey, that looks like the guy in the documentary. Dr. Stephen Greer? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got a drawing of Dr. Stephen Greer. Oh, uh, no. Uh, uh, meeting one of his buds from Andromeda. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's giving him the thumbs up. Oh, it's a martini. Oh, yeah, he's bringing him a drink. He's like, hey, dude, you made it. Well, we honestly thought that you guys weren't going to figure out the FTL stuff. Well, awesome. Great to have our first Earthling. Here's a sex on the beach, our favorite drink here. All right. Oh. So this is like that dream I had, remember? Tell me more. When we made this concept for this challenge i started having dreams about uh ufos but like uh, i was a kid and i was looking up at the sky where i grew up and these ships were were flying in the sky mm -hmm. and they were leaving behind these beautiful patterns of, of trails of light it was it was like as as though they were kind of flexing their art skills but the concept of that i guess floral swirly pattern look is, is yeah. really nice yeah. yeah 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 it looks like some sort of like robed alien being it's got all the crazy energy stuff going on it's easy a lot of the times when you have a foreground person like that to just let them be complete silhouette but you like let them have actual color mm. and a value range and you did their bike and all that nice yes oh wait i think this one has multiple shots okay i think it starts with this mm -hmm. and then two oh and i see one. so someone's coming upon the alien with a gun yeah and an alien's all like boop boop but oh. sir, don't shoot me. He's upset that his ship is broken, too. Yes. He's like, oh, God, how am I going to get back home now? Or maybe it's like a teenage alien. And the alien's like, oh, God, I crashed the car again. Now dad's going to kill me. Yeah. Oh, God. Even aliens so have mad. paternal issues. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. I love the reflection of the sun there. Good yeah. implication of light. I'd like to see a little bit of uh, bounce light coming up uh, a little bit more than what we got here. Word. That would be um, nice. Good story. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So the first contact in this case is uh, through the digital medium. That's pretty interesting. What a specific look. This has like, I hope this doesn't sound offensive or anything, but it almost has like the 90s animation look, yeah, yeah. like 3D animation look. I, yeah. It is 3D. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Which I guess now that's sort of be like a considered like a retro style at a certain point, which makes sense because that's definitely a 90s computer. Right. Yes, yes. No, 90s or late 80s. The Matrix computer. background. Yeah. Pretty rad. 10 a.m. Eat taco. Lunch. Mm. Food. 755921. That means something. It's got to mean something. Up. It probably equals 42 because 42 is the answer of the universe. Probably the alien being was like, oh, he's too boring. And then zapped right back into the computer. And he missed his chance at first contact. Very cool. There's a series here. All right. So it's like, whoa, that's really alien. Right. And then the next one you're supposed to feel like. Oh, this oh. must be the next one. Uh, you're like, oh, wait, this is starting to look familiar. And then mm. the punchline is yeah. anything on Earth is probably weirder than anything we could imagine. Clever. Yeah. Praying smart. mantises do look utterly pretty freaky. alien. Yeah. And those are pretty nice pencil drawings right there. Oh, God. Oh, my. Uh -huh. Those are very uh, bulbous. 
Oh, oh god, that one's like a human that turned into an alien, I think. You can yeah. see like a human fa- Ooh, it's like whole top, his whole mouth kind of shot out and opened up. Yeah. So they're beaming some kind of thing into the humans and that turns them into these creatures. Mm-hmm. And then I guess they spread their species that way. And See-through the- cactus as well. That's the scariest thing of all. The aliens up top have a very uh, H.P. Lovecraft like elder things from Mountains of Madness feel. Pretty right. down, pretty down with that. Very okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. so let's. Uh, we're driving. Some cars showing up. We got some flying saucers. Some interesting, good shape design in the back with the clouds there. Cool. Um, and he's seeing breaking news. Mm-hmm. And he puts his arms up and he's like, all right, I'm joining. Uh, oh, no. And then the thing we all fear most. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. On the probe table. And it looks like it goes through. Looks like it happens. He gets probed. I don't know what's happening here. I think that's like his arm dangling off the table. So, I think it's definitely him. And then he's, that that's his POV looking up at the alien oh, as it probes him. I'm not happy about that because it's giving me... Fear. Thank you for this submission. Uh, you have perfectly encapsulated my number one phobia, the thing I'm most horrified of. And uh, I will surely dream of this later tonight. So, thanks. Okay. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, art by Matt. Wait, this is a sequence. Cool. He, the alien's like, behold. Yeah. It is I. <laughs> I have arrived, Earthling. Tremble in fear. Yes. And her thing's like, hmm, I'm not going to tremble to you. Yeah, very, uh, what was that movie, that kid's movie? Indian in the in, Cupboard? Indian in the Cupboard. Yeah, very Indian in the Cupboard feel. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like this. Yeah. I think it's the the first one that had such an immediate reaction, but, oh. you know, humor's good too. The pencil for the scale, you know, it had the, it has the blur on the child, I'm assuming. Yeah. To sort of make you look right at that main guy right away. It's good. All right, is this a Nintendo? <laughs> I have to say that's a pretty unique design for an alien. Yeah. I haven't seen something like that before. I think SpongeBob is in an octopus costume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's good right there. Okay, cool. No, we got some story going. We got some uh, illumination from the uh, helmet area. This could be a screen, not necessarily a, a glass, you know? Yeah, that's how I interpreted it. Very classic kind of vac suit some buttons on it some asymmetry yeah and it looks like he has crossed paths with them while on like a hiking trip while and checking out the aurora borealis yeah or maybe it looks like a it kind of looks like the girl in the foreground is like you stay here all right stop following us <laughs> we don't want stay. you with us anymore stay stay why don't you just stay we don't but want you anymore he's all like can we keep it He's like, mm, I don't know. He's going to be lonely out here. <laughs> okay. So first mm-hmm. contact being tribal, old school caveman comes across this thing. Yeah. With, I guess, this, it looks like it says A102. Or maybe we're the aliens and we went back in time. Oh. Process sketch. Yeah. Be not afraid. I created this world. I can give you life and I can take it away. That's just... That was my Good reaction. Job. It's both an alien encounter and sort of a spiritual encounter, yeah. it feels like. I wonder what the symbolism is of the broken triangle. You know, maybe it's like you're about to create a trinity with this being. It's like about to happen. Not quite. There's still a little disconnect. The union isn't perfect, but the trinity is available. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. So first contact is with these little bat creatures. Nice. And he is very, very much like... I'm going to eat that thing. (laughs) He's like, oh, bats, you have no idea how bad things are about to get for you. Yeah, we're so hungry. It looks like this is not his first time coming to an alien planet. He's like, bats, this place is going to be McDonald's and Starbucks in a year. (laughs) (laughs) True, that's what's going to happen. This is also sequential. Oh, 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 full color. Okay, so here's the first one. Color, very retro. Kind of like old school color palette for those uh, science fiction covers. You got magenta, orange, a lot of silver. You know, I'd wonder if you could bounce. The purple is so powerful, it feels like it should be affecting more of the color space. So you did it a little bit, but I wonder Mm. if you could just get more of that purple into the 
top light planes of a lot of that white armor. I feel like that would help yeah. unify it a little bit more. You could get a pretty effective harmonization of color if you make a new layer, set it to overlay, fill that with magenta, lower it down to 20% opacity. And I think it'll get the effect that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So w one thing to look out for, if you're going to place something symmetrically behind him and touching him, it, at a thumbnail, it might seem like it's his helmet because it's like yeah. so there. I would either imp imply more space between them or something in perspective. I would, I would make the ship bigger. Bigger. Yeah. yeah. That's my impulse. Very cool. Nice. Cool. All right. So, he's on a spacewalk. We got some satellites behind him. He's got a book. He's got expensive leather-bound books. It's so large, Stephen. What do you think it is? Well, um, let's see. A book that big, uh, held by an alien. It's probably like, uh, he's like, have you seen the fifth edition monster manual, dude? You gotta check it out. We should play a game sometime. It's gonna be dope. I think aliens play D&D. Of course they do. Okay. Fun is universal. Yeah. Ahmed. Yes. Fun yes. is universal. Let's just hope that the aliens version of fun isn't killing us. So, no. It's He's got a- swirling out of him like it's a genie. Could it be? Where does his tail end? This tail ends here. <laughs> oh no, it looks like it has a, like a fork. Yeah, yeah, I think that's just its biology. Right. Okay. But I want to know what's in that book. Same symbol on the book is on his chest. Yeah, maybe a uh, symbol of the sun. Maybe, maybe, maybe the aliens like, have you heard about our savior, our Lord Jesus Christ? <laughs> <laughs> Just like you're in your spaceship, and you're like, hello, hi. We we know, we know. You've never seen one of us before. Have you heard of Jesus? <laughs> Just checking. You guys have Jesus? Of course you do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, our practice. Okay, so we got mm. some oh, kind of. I interpret it as like FPS style okay like pov right hand weapon lantern left hand weapon spell book and you're it's a demon you're about to look over a cliff into a into the the, the heart of a space demon see a space yeah, demon's I mean, face demons even from different dimensions that's first contact that's aliens it sure is it, it sure is. is cool i love that specular lens flare nice um and it seems as though there is an, a human eye behind the glass of a terrified human and mm -hmm. the alien hand is wiping away the dust to reveal or some, or is that a shadow? Whatever. I, I think we're the alien. Yeah. We, we, and we're seeing our own reflection in the thing. Spooky. Really scary. How terrifying would it be for an astronaut on the ISS to go out for a spacewalk and then you go around the, the bend of one of your modules and there's just an alien floating. A gray alien. Hello. It'd be very scary. And then if it reaches out and gently caresses you, that's all the worse. Yeah. All of the worst. But if it wants to just to play a quick game of Pokemon cards with you, you know? Whatever an alien tells me it wants to do, I will do it until I find an escape route. <laughs> you know? Love these shots. Uh, Sweet. Nice to see traditional work. Always. Uh, we're going to skip this one. <laughs> why? Why? Wait, why is he confused? Oh, he's confused that he's seeing us maybe my interpretation of this one yes that is an alien anthropologist who is trying to figure out why dogs are the master species on earth and why humans serve them and he's like i got the only way i can find out is to do what the humans do which is walk a dog and he thinks that dogs are the master species because humans do everything for them give them free food while the dog does no work and we pick up their poo i think he has a bag to pick up the dog's poo in his right hand. Uh, that reminds me of a great science fiction book I read. Uh, what's a series? It's kind of slapstick called Galaxy on Fire where, well, an android human survives millions of years and wakes up only to discover that the whole galaxy is run by border collies. Is it a long book? Yeah, it's like three books long. And, and, that's, then, and that's the payoff? Well, no, you find out pretty quickly that they're dogs. Oh. Okay. Oh, the first contact is someone taking a selfie and the aliens, oh no, I'm already caught. And then, uh -huh. and then the, the AI of the phone puts a dog nose on him. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. I like that. And I don't know, I, I think good drawing on both the human character and the alien. Good perspective. Yes, yes. Yeah, pretty yeah. nice. Okay, this, oh, this is... Let me put on my in. monocle. Your monocle. Ooh, I, I, I love the feel of this. Interesting. So we got two characters, some kind of eagle stuff happening, maybe psychedelic things. It's quite the color palette. It's hard to tell what's going on, but this looks like it's a character falling back and pointing up. 
mm-hmm. and these caterpillar fox frog head creatures well, are coming up. Maybe we're not supposed to be able to interpret it and that's what the first contact is going to be like. Mm. I, I I like that idea. Oh, I love this. Cool. It's it's like, it has a nice like composition of thirds of, with these like, um, look like clouds as a pathway. Yeah. But something about that, really appealing. I could see that as a book cover. Yeah, it looks sweet. Yeah. Nice. Can't fully tell what's going on and I don't think we have the time to really dive in and interpret everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe it, even though we can't tell, the vibe is super cool. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be a common concept. Oh, but she made the number one alien movie mistake of taking her helmet off on the yeah. alien planet. Oh, she, is that her helmet? I assume so. I really think she I should. I thought that have. was his spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. I don't know. It looks like it has a visor in the front. No. Yeah. Now, now that you mention it. Well, Bill, I think th- I think they want to talk to us. I think they want to do a little more than talk, Gary. Should I keep driving? No, no. Let's let's see what they have in mind. All right. Let's turn the car off. Oh, that's funny. That makes me laugh. The dog is sniffing his butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we must respect their culture. Mm. Let them let it sniff your butt. Maybe they're not connected. Maybe they're all just separate vignettes. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's him versus Duke Nukem. Uh, dare to dream. Dare to dream. And then, mm. but they get they get the last laugh. Yeah, they turn things around. Oh, got it. Looks oh, like yeah. it swallowed some people and oh. integrated them into its being. Yep. This guy's got one chance to escape it. You will feed them all. My hunger cannot be satisfied. But at least he has a cliff bar for his own hunger. If he can toss, that's how you beat the alien. You toss the cliff bar <laughs> into it and then it's an ad for cliff bars. You're like, only cliff bars can satisfy the <laughs> hunger of eternal undying aliens. Uh, keep it up. It's lovely art. Okay. Back to the caressing of the helmet. <laughs> why, why are helmets so caressable? I'm assuming that mo- most of these that feel like helmet caresses are like Don't telepathic yeah. uh, images being put in. It looks like this alien's head is like a a, a jar, like a vessel. Or you, mm. It looks like it has a hose coming out of the bottom. Maybe it's like a disembodied alien brain floating in there. You know uh, when we had to spray paint our speed forms at Art Center mm-hmm. and they had that like canister at the top? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what it reminds me of. It's oh, like yeah. He's ready to graffiti our planet. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> I mean, I agree with what you just said. That's my interpretation. I feel like it's the men in black. The traditional idea of the conspiracy theory of the men in black was that they were aliens. Oh. I don't know if that's traditional, but that's what I'd heard. That Mm -hmm. it's like they were skin walking aliens dressed as government agents. So this makes me feel like, all right, it's time to do the trade off. We're here to relieve you guys. We'll be the men in black for a while. Something like that. Yeah. Classic style. You know, I can see a whole like comic graphic novel kind of played out in this this, uh, visual style. Mm Mm-hmm. What are these? What's he holding? Because he's holding one too. Got to be some kind of secret government communicator. Yeah. How charming. It's kind of touching. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Like he just wiped out all of humanity, but found this butterfly and regrets it all. <laughs> Thinking back on the chaos that he wrought. Because <laughs> the, the reflection almost looks like explosions in the eye. Oh, yeah. He's like, what beauty was here on this planet? Perhaps I made a mistake. <laughs> We got a tattoo. All right, this is sequential. Okay. Frame one, oh. I think. Oh, this is Charmy. Yeah. I know Charmy. Hi, Charmy. Hello. Great work as usual. Good composition. You know, classic concept art. You know, foreground mm-hmm. guy with a spear. <laughs> it's uh, a hiking stick. Gasp. Great rendering on the eye. That's nice. nice uh, jelly looking uh, specular highlights there. Oh, I, I like the heads there. They're kind of like these platforms. Oh, yeah, these, cool. Uh, spheres are hovering over. Nice. So, first contact, let's see what else happens. Oh, that's just... Okay, so it's just cropped that way. Very cool. That's a very strong submission. Yeah, I like that one. I agree. Yeah. Good rendering on the face. She looks duly shocked. Cherub Den. Mm-hmm. Cool. Maybe very HP Lovecraft again. Gives me a... At first, it was kind of original StarCraft vibes. The Zerg Ultralisk with the four-legged thing. It's got these big blades that just... Anyway, back to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's got these three tentacle arms in the front. It looks like it's walking on some blue light. Can we see what those little hands in the front are holding? Toothpicks. Blue toothpicks. Oh, yeah. He's there to pick food out of the guy's teeth. And he's rocking out to some music. 
He's like, hell yeah, I've been waiting for you. Classic yeah. sci-fi. Mm-hmm. And it turns out snakes were the aliens the whole time. That would make a lot of sense to me. Huh. I don't know. I find this pretty compelling just on its strangeness. Hmm. I can't parse it one way or the other. Maybe it's that uh, our minds can't comprehend what aliens could be so they present themselves Mm. to us in this form. Nice. And they want us to fear them and they know that humans naturally fear snakes. Oh, that's a good interpretation. Yeah, yeah. Feels like a bit of an homage to the monolith from... 2001? uh, Yeah. Uh, I like the finish too. Feels like a completed picture. I can't help but see the uh, squiggles on the side of it as mustard on a hot dog. <laughs> oh, you ruined it, man. <laughs> no, it's a great Come piece. On. It's just like, there's just small things like that that take me out of it uh, sometimes. But yeah, yeah, very cool. It even uh, swirls up as a flame. It would be a great album cover. Yeah. Proko. Hmm. Proko is the... Okay, dude. Mm-hmm. I think that's like a crop circle seen from above. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. All right, well, Stan, uh, if you ever uh, achieve such, if you ever achieve an Elon Musk level of success and can make a Proco UFO, uh, give us a ride. We want to check it out. Would be fun. Definitely an original idea. I haven't seen yeah. this one quite yet. It's, you know, classic pen, yeah. comic book style. And a tricky shot to communicate, but uh, to me it read. You oh, know, yeah, immediately. I, I, I got that we were up high looking down on this uh, field yeah. that had a crop circle. Cool. A good sense of perspective without even needing perspective lines going upward in the vertical. Anyway, very cool. All right, so here was this concept sketch. Cool. Good silhouette, you know. Back when I was at ArenaNet, we had to figure out how much could we actually put in terms of uh, armor sets going out of the the skeleton of the model. Mm -hmm. And uh, because if they lift their arms up, those things go up too and they go right into the head and they'll end up clipping. Um, This just kind of reminds me of that. Hmm. And it seems to be avoiding those kinds of problems pretty well nice. if you were to animate this cool i, I like yeah. the gray and green uh color scheme as well. yeah and that's well is it creating something in in space with okay so these look like people surrounding it i think so and this is the first contact maybe it attracted all the people here mm-hmm. and we're all falling into it like it's a, a black hole and that's oh, using yeah. us for yeah maybe some mind control yeah. going on to lured everybody to this alien ritual very cool nice Oh, sweet. It looks like a pointillus style. Yeah, yeah. Is it like ink? Maybe colored ink? Micron or something like that? It looks like Colored, pe- colored pencil. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. Me personally, uh, I love when aliens have hair. It's a rare thing to see. Yeah. yeah. It's usually <laughs> smooth. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that looks uh, that looks a lot like, um, oh, God. like a Resident Evil kind of thing. Yeah. What? Premature. Maybe the first contact we have with something alien is uh, something we create. Definitely got a very scary and striking character. Yes. All right. This is very strong. <laughs> Reminiscent of the one you did. Oh. But, wow. I yeah. think this is... Um, this is really nice. Yeah. But okay. So, I mean, that's not a normal human. We don't glow. Mm-hmm. The human-ish character is the more special one. And it's almost like the aliens are having first contact with it. Yeah. So maybe they're the aliens of that planet and that human is like a like a advanced technology or like spiritual traveler and has mm. apparated oh, on their planet. That's cool. Maybe something like that. I'd, I'd read that. This is good too. Can we zoom in on that guy? That looks really finished, that alien ball head. Yeah. Nice. Uh, very much has the uh, Zizhuav Bekchinsky feel. You oh, know? you mean it's Zizhuav. Oh, God. Thank God you. Thank God you're here. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. It's got like that kind of uh, interlocking knuckles and bones feel that you find in those Polish uh, paintings. Mm-hmm. Cool. By him. We've had uh, quite a few pieces that have a car encountering these things. Yeah. Sounds about right. Makes sense. But Love yeah, r- really nice finish and good job doing all of that finicky work in like a super compressed value range. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. We, we're always tempted to just put rim lights on everything on, on details to, to bring it out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Sweet. this this kind of reminds me of uh, your pencil drawings. I mean, I, I love stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, oh God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh-huh. The butterflies are flying into his scapula? I think they're flying out. 
of him. Of this, oh, that's where butterflies come from. That's my interpretation. Yeah, this looks like uh, a trip. Nice hand. That position on a hand when it's like facing right into the light source, it's like that's always that's, tough. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you got the long cast shadows and then bopping off of the wrist there. That's cool. Cool drawing. Nice Very pencil cool. work. That's E.T. That is E.T. Winston? <laughs> it's like Planet of the Apes but reversed where mm. the uh, gorillas come back to Earth and they're like, wait, humans weren't supposed to be the ones to evolve. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no. We're in their zoo. Oh, no. Please don't let that be it. No. Nice least, painting on the aliens. At least they're low gravity. A real bummer if it turned out that this was the actual nature of the human experience. That we're just in their zoo? Yeah. That we're yeah. just... It looks like they were like just flying through space and they bonk, like hit a glass wall and they were like, oh God, what's, what's this? Uh, I love that. That'd be a really cool comic book cover. Nice. Space itself is a wall that's cracked and you see this giant skull. Sick tats. Some geometry. Yeah, cool tats, man. Maybe he's telling us that he is an alien. Is that what he, that might be what he's trying to communicate here, right? Yeah. Nice pointillism. Yeah, very cool. That's cool. Like so, it. the first contact is in the reflection. No, no, wait, there's that. There's, there's also a dragon. Is that a dragon or maybe that's an alien? Oh, it could be. Oh, yeah, because look, there's a robot hand in POV. So I think again, we are the alien. We're about to get killed by a... Is that like a Roman centurion or a knight I or something like that? I have no clue. Fire Classic Roman. 90s, late 90s comic book style shading and design. Great use of uh, shapes here. Unexpected style. Yeah, that's interesting. I keep thinking of album covers when I see something interesting like this. Yeah, this feels like an album cover. It looks like it's painted on black. This is uh, really well painted. And what's cool about this is, I mean, I guess they're trees, but they also look like, like blood vessels. Yeah, like capillaries and stuff. That what's thing. that thing? Can we look at that thing? I can't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have this trypophobia, so it's like I don't have holes. that. I can look. Oh, cool. I like that one. That yeah. one's really cool. Those look very much like the War of the Worlds. Yeah. The walkers, yeah. Oh, God. Build the pyramids. I get you. These are the plans. Oh, oh, he's showing them the plans. That's Those are the cool. plans for the pyramids. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, in the reflection of the sword, you could see people coming from a ship. Whoa. I love this. That's an intense drawing. Wow. Some uh, advanced perspective homework that we would have to do back wow. in our center. Oh, so like you reach through and there's ripples and he's like, do you want some curly fries? The the way the ripples affect what's behind them, that looks tough to draw. Like look at the hand when it goes through and it like yeah. darkens the ripple. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is huge. He would not be able to move easily, now would he? No, his eye on its own is the size of a planet. Gotta respect it. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. First contact is an offering. I like that. Cute. I like the design of the uh, helmet. Yeah. That's nice. It crashed into a planet, our planet, where even the Burger King is buried after geological timescales. Mm. That's my guess. I like that moth alien. That's cool. Giant bear dogs. Teddy bear planet. Teddy bears causing chaos. I Teddy like bears killing everybody. <laughs> Intense. Yes. The pointillism. People who work in pointillism. Uh, I'm impressed by you. Another one with uh, artistic lines in the sky as your first contact. Hmm. Cool. I like that. Okay. So, Aurora Borealis, you're up north, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, you've discovered a flying saucer. This <laughs> ominous glow coming from it onto the mountains. Reminds me of uh, John Carter. Oh, yeah. Mars. <laughs> nice sketch. Yeah, cool. Very cool. Watercolor looks like? Yeah. What's up, Earthlings? Are you ready for the first encounter? That's a keg. Those are flying speakers. Neanderthals meeting Denisovans for the first time? Yeah, no one knows what that is. You know, like, they were d technically different human species almost. Uh, you could have said Cro-Magnon. People know what that is. You need to calm down and chill out and stop freaking out every five seconds every time we talk. All I think right? we'll let the public record decide. Okay. What's really going on here? <laughs> Who needs to calm down? Hot dog? No, can't be. She'd be eating it completely the wrong way. It looks like... Sandwich. But what's the white thing on top? Overflowing shaving cream. <laughs> shaving cream. And it's dripping honey all over her. Yo, the cat. 
Okay, that's inaccurate because cats don't care about anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they would not notice. So this is super cool to me. I read into this as like that apple, maybe like the fruit of knowledge or something like that. Because mm. because the fruit, uh, the, the blue is like traveling up into the more human hand implying that like something is being transmitted oh between the two at least that's it. my interpretation that's definitely it looks like humans are growing out of the finger of the person oh he's got them wrapped around his little finger oh through music you discover contact with more intelligent sentient being ah yes that makes sense to me and nice execution straightforward yeah. simple <laughs> We get it. Gotcha. <laughs> Quick go next while I cover Baby Yoda's eyes. <laughs> so yeah. classic tripod walkers and then city under siege. God, that's disturbing. <laughs> ah, a more meditative sort of spiritual interpretation. Yeah. Of first contact. Very classic uh, depiction of aliens coming out of a bra. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say at the top in the fireworks? Come to fart? Come oh, come to, to Earth. Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. We've come to fart. <laughs> All right, first contact, classic nice. uh, cinematic reflection in the eye. Mixed with the classic uh, drawing of an eye, black we, and white drawing. Yeah. We said the word classic a lot during this. We did? Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's very large. This is interesting. I haven't seen anything like this yet. This is very far out. Yeah. Yeah. I would assume a crash ship. Firefighter. Oh, he's like, I gotta take this fire, but no. First contact alien. Mm -hmm. He thought he was stopping a forest fire. Negative. This is cool. Alternate history where the first moon landing resulted in us finding giant cephalopods on the moon. Back to caressing, <laughs> like, at, at the ISS, just like aliens coming up to massage us. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Cool. Oh, I like how you split the moon. Well, yeah, because we're in a big box. Yeah. And I think it's and it's being open, and we're just like in, in an ant farm. But that was a good design decision. Like makes it read right away. And he's got his friends peeking into. He's like, you guys got to see what I got. <laughs> yeah. A lot of pictures of aliens helping human astronauts get their repairs. Right. Or massages. Yes. Yeah, we've had a few of those. So. I I'm, I'm pretty into the UFO sombrero. You. <laughs> That's cool. All right, some Mobius vibes here. Yeah, Mobius color space. What do you think of um, humanoid aliens being a possibility, aside from the panspermia concept? Probably. My, I'm no scientist, but highly unlikely. Right. I would say. It looks like they're almost farming us. There's a bunch of them picking us in a field. Giant woman. I don't know what to say. That's a genre. Giant women. It is. It yeah, is. It's yeah. like always in the front page of DeviantArt whenever I go there once every four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First contact being this Dr. Manhattan looking guy. Some sort of lunar entity, it seems like. He's mm. framed by the moon halo and then he has the crescent moon on his forehead. If you squint, it's like he has a moon afro. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Cars. People in cars getting into trouble with UFOs, which actually... Kind of makes sense because, I mean, you hear uh, the abduction stories you hear. Yeah. They're often people pulling over on the side of the road or getting zapped right. while they're in their car. There's a bunch of those. Like Travis Walton's story. Mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy. Very good. Very Nice. Good. I think this is the first sculpture we've seen. Yeah, a 3D entry. 3D suite. This is cool. This Marziliano is mm -hmm. white. And look, it's, a, it's an indigenous contact point again. That's mm -hmm. my interpretation. Yo, oh wait, is the is even the fire sculpted? Yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, we gotta give some love to this one. This is uh this is great. And the yeah, so we've got the the cave woman or the tribal woman and the caveman slash tribal man right oh, there. Oh man, that that's like uh that one piece of Saturn consuming the his children. Was it Saturn? You know you know what piece I'm talking about? Oh, that's a scary piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks suitably mortified. He looks very, very yes. scared of yeah. what he's seeing. Very nice use of shape, you know, I like the, the negative space between the bottom of the, uh, the head there, kind of echoes out as a shape design. That's a cool distorted <laughs> reflection. Yeah, and this time he's wrapped in a burrito. Maybe this is the aliens creating a human avatar to meet us. Good interpretation. I like the colors, the magenta leaning. 
Yeah, the and I think it's dropping. traditional. This looks traditional. To me. Looks like it. <laughs> she controlling him with an app? I don't know, but I'm feeling dizzy looking at this. <laughs> that radial blur of everything in the background is pretty intense. Mm. He has nasty feelers coming out of his stomach. So maybe our uh, phones, when we take pictures, kind of disables the, the alien. Oh, huh. Interesting. <laughs> Very... I love the style, the proportions. It's so unique. Mm -hmm. It's children meaning this very shiny humanoid is he dissolving that human no i think that's like a rock and i think that's like another person hiding behind okay. the rock just the an unfortunate tangent it looks like it's coming from his forehead like dissolving oh. in, into a tornado mm, i gotcha Ooh. nice uh whoever this is i'm gonna guess watches cynics <laughs> right it does look like cynics this very time. yeah ah uh, what <laughs> okay more space station interactions Great use of rim light and subsurface scattering. Nice. Not gonna lie. Reminds me of that scene from Signs, which was one, to me as a kid, was like the scariest movie. <laughs> well executed. Feels finished. This is strong. Could be a book cover, it feels like, right? Yeah. It feels like it has space to put like a title up there. Very clear read. Or even like a Netflix uh, poster thumbnail. Yeah. The warm, cool uh, color palette is simple and works. Skinwalker Ranch or whatever. Yeah, I think he's taking those cows. Those cows aren't going to have a good night. Run, kid, run! You got this. Just that rock, you though. Can make it. He's got those sneakers. He can totally <laughs> outrun that spaceship with those sneakers, man. He's going to trip on that rock. It, it's not that like it, it's a scary moment. It's more like he comes in here like he's expecting that, hey, you're not supposed to be here kind of thing, mm. you know? Nah, he looks like uh, the expression that One Punch Man has. <laughs> Good value groups, I'd say. Mm -hmm. We're looking up at the looks aliens. Like, and Yeah, it looks like another surgery. And this is, we've captured an alien. See, I told you he's intelligent. <laughs> Funny. Oh my God, that, that's a really <laughs> tight pants there. When you're drawing pants, you want to watch out for putting a high contrast line for the crack. <laughs> you instead want to focus those lines down at like the shelf under the gluteus maximus. That's quite the angle. Ah, they were just riding their bike and then everything went wrong. Yep. Alien plant. Like it. Oh, imagine just walking past one wearing a hoodie and a hat. I think that's just a person. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those eyes, dude. Are you sure? That poor person is slammed right to the ground. First contact with some sort of cosmic deity has the nebula in the hair and wrapped up in its cat's cradle. So maybe it's like a god of fate or something. It's manipulating Very cool. the strings yeah. of time around that person. Very book cover composition. Um, I think it might be underwater. Oh, There's... interesting. Earth got blown up. And the alien's like, don't worry, I got you, but we got to get out of here now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I, if that was in front of me, I wouldn't be looking at aliens. <laughs> so this is Earth. It's cold. Maybe it's a reference to climate change. We missed first contact because we didn't protect our planet. Again, it seems like another more religious or spiritual interpretation. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> right. The cow jumping over the moon. Yes. Got it. This is really well done. That's a nice head. Yeah, that's a good head. And he's looking at this photo that he has that shows his mom meeting his dad. <laughs> Album covery. Yeah, it looks like it could be stickers. Yeah. yeah that's... Fun. That's a really cute design for the alien. Yeah, he's like, shh. Oh, he crashes ship in the distance there. Oh, no. Oh, the kid likes Doom. Area 51, Spock. Oh, he has a little sticker on his bed post that says, I love aliens. And E.T. And so he's like, hey, yeah, I heard you're a fan of me. Stop. You came to the right place, alien. Imagine. Just That's scary. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Another reflection one. Cool. Reaching. 2030. And the Tron getting obliterated. Cool. Obliterated. I just said obliterated. Indigenous contact like again. Maybe a shaman doing a, a ritual. Nice. Good interpretation. I like that. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Oh, look at all these little, oh. all the little aliens in the bubbles. Yeah, it's just a game for them. The lighting of the spheres onto the cloth of the... It's well done. Yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> They're like little frogs in there. That's a cool concept for a spaceship though. You know, where it's not like some metallic aluminum tin can, but rather mm -hmm. uh, some kind of orb. <laughs> Hello. I just feel so compelled to wave back. 
Oh my god, there's two of them. Maybe it's a, supposed to be a POV of someone who's had way too much to drink. Yes. Like, oh god. Ah, lifting the veil from the eyes. I think it's a reference to that. Oh, mm. say. Classic Lovecraftian beast. Picking up, plucking up a poor unfortunate astronaut. He's got more than enough teeth to do the job, so probably not a good day. That's right. <laughs> There's more of them back there, too. Oh, God. Ooh. Love that background. That's cool. Very nice. I love the implication of scale. Is that a reference to David Bowie? Black Star? Could be. Another one that when I look at, I could imagine as a really fully flushed out indie game. Samurai, alien in the desert, fighting off these giant robots. Cool style. Yeah. Please make this game. Yeah, go for it. Make it real. Oh. Okay, we've got some security photos. Oh, that's a cool concept. First contact being like this alien running around Area 51 or something. These are very nice. It's escaping. It got out or got in. No, oh, yeah. Cool way to compose it. Mm. Snapshot of the desktop, with all this evidence around. I'd suggest waking <laughs> up while you're still able to. That's about, that's very surreal. I guess it has like moth wings. It looks like it's got some sort of, it's a horrifying dog chimera. I wish I knew what kind of dog that was. It is looking at us the way that your dog like looks at you when it, when it wants a massage or like a pet or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something. How'd they know? That's a cool style. Yeah. All right. So first contact indigenous kind of native character meets a aquatic type of alien. Yeah. Or, or I think, ship. yeah, there it is. I like the, I like going for the scale behind them, sort of showing the sweep of the landscape. It's a little bit of a Thomas Moran feeling I on the, see that. In the mountains back there. That's cool. Nice. I'm glad you included the thumbnail sketches. Yeah. Great. Thank you for that. First contact being a random hand touching your neck. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Great finish. Good resolution. Uh, very sophisticated. Really tough job to set up the value range for that sort of glowing translucent uh, alien being while allowing for all of the solidity of the other aspects. I mean, this is such a cool piece. Great job. You did a great job. <laughs> this is great. really, really yeah. cool and high concept. Definitely yeah. high concept. Have, we haven't seen anything like this. Great yet. storytelling. Uh, yeah. Alternate histories are always cool. It feels very grounded, right? Okay. So I think this sort of more enlightened being is uh, seeing the problem with this historical period and is probably about to free them. <laughs> the harsh contrast of that <laughs> to something completely different. Wow! We got, we got mushrooms, a cat creature. So this looks to me like our first contact is some kind of psychedelic trip or something. Or cats are already aliens. Something like yes. that. Yes. Another indie game looking thing. Like mm -hmm. this could be a Whoa. fun game. Oh, no, it stole the donut. Make this a game. Oh, God. <laughs> really well rendered, though. Yeah, you know, in terms good. of like showing form and light. Very believable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Believable. Ah. Uh, right, that's That was below me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Very unique. You don't see nice a lot of- Nice to meet you, see? You don't see a lot of stuff like this these days. Mm. Look at the face in the sun. That's a great piece. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually super dope. Nice. Definitely up there. I think this is another example of sort of self-transcendence. Mm. Yeah. Alien invading the farmhouse. Yeah. Happens all the time. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. You got to watch out if you have a farmhouse. as a washing machine. They're just here to do laundry, you know? Uh -huh. Oh, I needed to add some dirty clothes. I hope you don't mind me using your washing yeah. machine. Hey, you got a quarter, by the way. Nice sketch. Yeah. I like the value groups on yeah. this one. Very strong indication of depth here. Yeah. We bring our shish kebabs. I find this one strangely peaceful. There's something really calming about this one to me. Oh, not so peaceful. I don't know. I still, still find it maybe it's their facial expressions. Peaceful. Yeah, I think it's their facial expressions and the people down there just kind of like going about their work. And mm. They don't seem like stricken by what's going on. Another reference to the monolith, symbol for cosmic enlightenments of a depth we cannot understand. Hey, oh. it's good lighting here. Oh, oh first contact. Uh -oh. Survivor alien meets gorilla. I'm sure that gorilla would be quite spooked. Nice, cool textures. And if, you, if this was like rendered to be more realistic in the foreground, but that wasn't, mm -hmm. and you know, their way of communicating with us is distorting reality to look like it's artwork. I don't know. Oh. That's how I interpret it. Far out, man. All right. Oh, well, he's Here getting he sucked up. Yeah. They're like, hey, he wants to fly. We'll make him fly. <laughs> 
Yeah, it looks like he's pointing specifically at the heart. He's like, please explain or something mm. like that. Yeah, at least the wearing mask. Uh oh, it's collecting human skulls. Yeah, it's it. freckles. <laughs> <laughs> Has very human eyes as well. Uh, good implication of lighting though, that kind of backlight. I wonder what's going on with that foreground, uh, with the main person. They seem to be wrapped up in some sort of bioluminescent vines and things like that. Mm. Aliens exist! First contact. Of course, the aliens have gone in for making first contact with a military leader. In Russia. In Russia. If the alien makes that face on the first meeting and it has, you know, Red recreated eyes. simian aggression by flashing its teeth, it's like, don't, don't trust it. I'd say don't, don't trust, trust it, it at that point. Okay. Well, that's, yeah. Very alien. Yeah. Cool. This traditional? Is Maybe like a pull out technique? A what? Like a, <laughs> oh God. You know when you like, you use the turpentine, you have a ground, oh, yeah, you use yeah. the turpentine to sort of erase away the yeah. paint. I thought it was a rub out technique, which is not a better, <laughs> not a better way to phrase it, but it is a rub out technique. It's, it's interesting because the things I'm reacting to the most are not what I would expect. Cause like, I think going into a competition like this, like you would expect, you know, very much a cinematic concept art style with with the lighting and the realism, but but that's so familiar. Mm -hmm. This feels alien to us, not just in terms of what it is, but even how it's presented in the style, yeah, color. Uh, you just don't see I'm, a lot of stuff like this. I'm I'm giving this one points in my mind. Cool. Oh, he discovered that his uh, his buddy here is an alien. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, she's crying. Maybe that was like her partner yeah like a boyfriend or something and she's like no you too underwater yeah. encounter that's cool um unfortunately the thing that breaks this feeling that it's this floating creature is you have these tentacles coming down touching the floor looking like legs to me mm. you know i might want to bring those up but still very well done for a traditional piece yeah. this is a very tough kind of picture oh to yeah, pull yeah off especially traditional anything underwater is super hard so hard to finish well, that was a lot of great pieces. A lot to go through. It's going to be hard to pick, but I think I have a couple in mind of what really stood out to me and kind of conveyed that story of first contact. Uh, what do you think? Uh, absolutely. Agree. Yeah, let's take a look and parse it out. And yeah, great work, everyone. We were definitely surprised by some things that we found yeah. ourselves really loving. So that's cool. I personally really like this. Mm -hmm. um, it's very alien to me in terms of how we're viewing it, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah, I think this one really, Excuse just me. like Med said, it's it's like it captures the idea that alien can be truly alien, right? Yeah. That it doesn't look humanoid. It doesn't look like anything we can recognize. Hyper rendered like Halo yeah. enemy. You know, this, this was really well done. The story moment's very clear. And the concept of the alien head is like a platform with a floating sphere. That's pretty fun. Um, and I can very much respect the craftsmanship of, of it all feeling polished. Yeah, same, agree. Nice clear shapes, cool design. And then this just was really awesome. Uh, yeah, it stands out. Yeah. It, and we didn't have that many 3D submissions. Yeah. It stands out for that. And even amongst those 3D submissions, it's just so odd and noticeable. It keeps your attention. Speaking of which, maybe we could add the, the sculpture one as an honor, honorable mention. Again, it's really nice to see 3D work uh, that is getting across the idea. And it's like, it's not just one thing, right? Like, yeah. try to show the scene, the moment with a 3D sculpture, which you really don't see that a lot, right. you know? Right. All right, so here's what we picked for winners. Everybody, thank you so much for submitting. And yeah, these are the ones that really stood out to us from all of the submissions. So let's take a look. Yeah, let's dive right in. Number three. So uh, for third place, we have chosen this one by Mixed Max Arts. Uh, yeah, we thought it was a pretty good composition and it's executing light in ways that are, they could be tricky. For example, the subscript for scattering and the leg there implying that there's no bone, something very alien to us in terms of something that's walking. And the rim light from the car and then the moon, I'm guessing, creates a nice little rhythm of triangulation of these light elements. Rim light, subsurface scattering, and light source. I don't know. It works really well with the very limited color palette. Yeah, the warm and cool sets up a lot of straight up tension. 
which captures the mood. It feels like a scary moment in this story. And yeah, I think it feels very straightforward what the, what the mood and emotion of this moment are supposed to be. And it just feels complete. You know, it feels like it's ready to go for a book cover. I think it's a great job. Great job. Number two. We have by Daniel Faust. Now, um, it's got this really interesting feel in this forest. We could kind of think of the universe as a dark forest of different uh, civilizations kind of uh, either hiding from each other or trying to survive. And, you know, all the expressions on the faces of these alien creatures looking at this glowing, I guess, human. Maybe they see us as so bright or something um, that it casts this light. But yeah, it's just this is very interesting. The anatomy uh, on the aliens is really well painted and rendered, um, and it just kind of conveys this a different feeling other than oh, you know, UFO abducting a car, right? <laughs> yeah, again, agree with Med. The expressions, the variety of expressions are just so cool, and yeah, a lot of good work put in there. Good work on the anatomy. Good work on all the poses. You know, even like all of the roots on the tree and everything like that. Cool piece. Absolutely. Great job. Number one. And our favorite, I don't know if you could tell by our initial reaction when this, when this just came up in the, the roulette of these, uh, but wow, this really stuck out. Yeah, uh, this is just a great piece and like a lot of great pieces, you almost don't have to say much. The work speaks for itself in a lot of ways. A piece like this really shows that the person thought it through, had an idea, had an opinion, arranged it, designed it, did all the preparatory work that they needed. And then once they did all that, they committed and they said, let's finish this, you know, and it just, it sings. It's a great piece. It really stands out. And it also, there was really nothing else like it. You know, yeah. it really is a interesting mix of execution, idea and design. Great piece. Yeah. And you know, not everything has to be a finished colored painting. And this almost looks like an old photograph uh, or, or, or depiction of such a grand moment but yeah even the way the the brain is is rendered in there bravo good job awesome great job again my name is ahmed al uh you can definitely find me on youtube and instagram i got lots of content here and there thank you so much for watching this and thanks to the proco team thank you so much for the great work thanks for showing us all of your crazy visions of first contact and again i'm steven zapata uh, you can find me my instagram and my youtube in the links below bye bye <laughs>